to this snail. Wow, it's an apple snail. Yeah, he hitched a ride with us. He didn't even have to leave his home. That's because a snail shell is his home. Yeah, but there is one thing that an apple snail needs, and that is to be put back where he belongs, in the water. With all the other snails, like this ram's horn snail. Check out his cool head. There you go. Okay, time to call Zabu. Today, let's call Zabu like monkeys. Zabu. Let's do it. Zabu. Hey, Zabu's here. You know Zabu. He never talks until he's finished his snack. I'll be right back. Who'd you see out there, Sabu? Okay, I know. Food first. Maybe I'll give Sabu a nut. A nut has a shell. Like a snail. Zabu, I have a nut. Zabu loves nuts. You want it, Zabu? There you go. Better boy. When a lemur isn't eating leaves or fruit, he's eating nuts. I love nuts. That's because you are nuts, Abu. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are nuts, too. We're all nuts. Nuts about creatures. So let's have some. <laughs> I saw an animal who was doing something I'd never seen anything do before. He was chewing a tree. Chewing a tree? Yeah. I couldn't believe my mind. Chewing a tree. Who could it be? <laughs> Can you help me guess this mystery? He was chomping on a tree. I'm not kidding. His teeth were huge. And he was swimming in the water. Who could it be? This animal who I did see. And his tail was flat. Flat, flat, flat. Can you help me guess this mystery? A big-toothed, flat-tailed tree eater. Do you know who he is? <laughs> All right, let's see. He has a tail that looks like a paddle. He chews down trees with his teeth. He is... Whoa! Watch out! <laughs> a beaver! Mongazika, mystery animal's here! That's him. That's the tree eater. You want to get a closer look? Come on. Yeah, right over here. Whoa, his fur is so thick. That keeps him warm in the winter. 
just like our winter coats. A beaver's thick fur keeps him warm in the winter and warm in the freezing cold water. And get this, his coat is waterproof. <laughs> I wish mine was. Beaver's feet are funnier than Martin's even. A beaver has great hind feet for swimming. See that skin between his toes? When you have that, you have webbed feet. And a beaver's webbed feet help him glide through the water. Hmm. Funny webbed swimming feet. I can see how webbed feet are really great. Hey, but did you ever notice that a beaver's tail has scales on it, like a reptile or a fish? And iguana scales keep her from drying out in the sun, and she's covered with them from head to tail. But look, a beaver's tail's all smushed. I bet a tree fell on it. No, Zub. That's the way a beaver's tail is supposed to look. Yeah. Flat, like a paddle. His tail looks like a paddle, and my tail... Hmm, doesn't look like a paddle. How come? A beaver's tail is flat, so he can use his tail to do all sorts of amazing things. Like you use your tail to do amazing things. Hmm. When he smacks the water with his tail, it makes a really loud noise. That's the way he tells all the other beavers, danger's near. <laughs> okay, a beaver's swimming along. He sees a predator, like a wolf. So, he slaps his tail. That tells the other beavers to swim for cover. <laughs> a beaver tail slap water fight. <laughs> Look out, Zob! I knew I'd get in the middle of this. <laughs> Here's a loose towel. Oh. oh, thanks. <laughs> look, look! The beaver's standing on his tail! I can't believe my mind! <laughs> oh, hurry, Martin, look! Wow! <laughs> Martin, now you're standing on my tail! Sorry, Zab! It's okay. Zabu's right. There is another way a beaver uses his tail. He sits up on it when he's chewing on trees. Yes, yes, chewing trees, like I said. Or when he's eating corn. Hmm? but a beaver usually eats wood and bark. Ugh, who wants to eat wood and bark? Not bark like a dog's bark. Bark like the bark on a tree. Yeah, and one time I tried biting a tree like a beaver. It's not easy with human teeth. I won't do that again. But we can bite corn, it's soft. My brother's so corny. <laughs> corny like corn. <laughs> Everybody bite like a big toothed beaver. Orange teeth. Rengatsika. I've never seen an animal with orange teeth before. What about me? <laughs> it's an orange peel. But a beaver really has orange teeth. Hey, Chris, your teeth are very appealing. Get it? Appealing. <laughs> a beaver's teeth are orange because they don't have this white stuff called enamel that covers our teeth. That's the stuff you brush every day. He's chewing again. He can't chew here. If he does, he'll wreck somebody's home. A bird made a nest here. What a Mangatsika nest. Yeah, a bird's nest is a safe home for her babies. It's where she brings them food. It's chow time. I can't believe my mind. He's gobbling that whole worm. Hole. Hey, don't chew here, buddy. Whoa, he's heavy. A beaver can weigh as much as you do. A beaver is a big...
big little creature with a huge urge to chew. Whew, I hope he doesn't chew anywhere else. Whoa! Whoa! Ooh, you're all wet now. <laughs> <Money>. <laughs> nice one, Chris. <laughs> Mud baths are like jelly baths in Sabu land. So I was leap, leap, leaping along. Leap, 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 <laughs> leap, 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 leap. When all of a sudden, wow! I landed in a big puddle of goobleberry jelly. It felt squishy and gooey, and it felt good. Oh, and it tasted good, too. And then I noticed I wasn't alone. Hi, green puppy. Hi, Zabu. Green puppy lives in goobleberry puddles because she likes goobleberry baths so much. Goobleberry bath, water splash. Goobleberry jelly bath, water splash. She said splash, so I splashed her. <laughs> and she splashed me back. <laughs> goobleberry baths are fun, but also very messy. <laughs> Uh-oh, oh, green puppy. Oh, oh. Here comes Google. Oh. Uh. Goobleberry jelly. Oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. Bye-bye, Puddles. He sucked up all the goobleberry jelly, and we were all cleaned mm. off. Oh, sorry, Green Puppy. I sucked up your home again. Oh, I'll oh. just find a new puddle. The end. <laughs> hey, guys. He chewed on the tree. You can't chew here. This is somebody's home. A flying squirrel lives here, and her babies are inside the tree in their nest. Why is he chewing out everyone's home? Home, home, that's it. The beaver is chewing on these trees and posts so he can build his lodge. Lodge, of course, I knew that. <laughs> What's a lodge? A lodge, a lodge is a beaver's home. It looks like a big pile of sticks, but you know what? There are rooms inside. Ah, oh, a lodge. <laughs> Does that mean the beaver's gonna build his lodge here in Animal Junction? Well, not likely, because a beaver likes to build his home oh, near... Oh. Lodge. Okay, lodge. A beaver likes to build his lodge near running water. Oh! You see, beavers feel safe in the water, so that's where they like to be, in the water. And I bet they feel even safer in their lodge. But how do they build it? Well, after the beavers chew down some trees, they carry branches to the spot they've picked for their home. Then, they put these branches into a big pile. When that's taken care of, they go underwater and chew their way through all the branches, making a hollow that turns into a cozy home. It takes a lot of branches to build a beaver lodge, and that's why the beaver was chewing up everything. He was looking for pieces of wood to build his home. Lodge. I'm feeling beaverish. I feel different, not the same. This kind of feeling I can't explain. There's only one thing that I can do. I feel beaverish. How about you, beaverish? I feel beaverish. Ah, beaverish. I'm a bucktooth beaver chomping on a tree. Beaverish. Hey guys! <laughs> Sam, come here, we figured it out! He was looking Do you see that? The whole time. He could have chewed right through Animal Junction. He's taking a can see it. Uh -huh. And here's the a beaver home. Lodge. <laughs> but guys, guys, oh, I can't believe my mind. What's going on, Zop? The beaver. He took your paddle. He took our paddle? Mm. I bet he was using it to build his home. Lodge. Incoming! Here comes Moonface. Duck! Hi, Moonface. Did you know that a beaver's home is called a lodge? Hey, a message from Jackie. Bluebirds are so pretty. They look like they're just in the color of the sky. But do you think that bluebird's gonna fly around forever? I don't think so. Bluebirds live in holes in dead trees, but sometimes they can't find one. So my friends and I built a bluebird box. She likes it. She really likes it. Bluebirds need more homes so they'll never, ever disappear from the creature world. A beaver! With a paddle? Are you guys missing a paddle by any chance? 
Our paddle. We've got to get it back. Mm -hmm. Let's follow that beaver, and maybe he'll lead us to his home. Lodge. Yeah, lodge. Mm -hmm. I bet we could even help the beaver build his lodge. Great idea, Chris. To the closet. To the closet. They're going to the closet. They're going on a trip. Are you ready? They're going Let's go. to the closet to Whoa. grab their stuff and slip. <laughs> huh? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> and I got my goggles. And I have these web-footed flippers because most of a beaver's home lodge is underwater. They're going on a cool adventure and they don't know what's in store. They're coming from the closet and they're headed out the door. Bye, guys. Bye, Zabu. Bye, Zabu. Hey, Chris, look. Wow, it's a box turtle. Yeah. And this box turtle is just like the snail back at Animal Junction. See, they both have shells for homes. Her shell is really hard. That keeps her nice and safe. And all she has to do is put her head and feet into her shell, and bam, she disappears. She's the best hide and seek player around. And then when she feels the coast is clear, she takes off, turtle style. But we better get going if we're gonna make it to the beaver lodge. To the lodge. Let's find that beaver. Chris, you see any sign of him? No, not yet. Hmm, where could he be? Martin, look! A hole in the ground. Hey, that must be somebody's home. A chipmunk. She's looking for acorns to eat. Hey, found one. She puts it in her cheek and takes it home. We sure are finding a lot of animal homes today. You know, this is great. Hey, Chris, I think we're on the right track. Look at this. A beaver chewed this tree. That means we're definitely headed in the right direction. To the beaver lodge? To the beaver lodge. Oh, our flag. We're under the tree. Let's ride. Chris, I think we found it. Listen. That's the sound of running water. Beavers live around lakes, streams, and ponds. We must be close, right? Let's go. I don't see the beaver lodge yet. It must be around here somewhere. Whoa! What's wrong, Chris? Well, I guess we don't need baths today. Hey, there's a beaver! beaver. And the and beaver lodge! lodge. <laughs> well, beavers are great swimmers. They have see-through eyelids. That's how they can see underwater while they're building their lodge. We can see underwater, too, if we wear our goggles. And we can swim fast like a beaver with our flippers. Oh, yeah. And flippers have webbing just like a beaver's feet. So, let's swim with the beaver. Hey, look, he's carrying another tree branch to add to his lodge. <laughs> this is great. And now he's heading back for another branch. Let's do what we came to. Help the beaver build his lodge. When it gets cold, this mud will get as hard as cement. Twigs and sticks help make the lodge really strong. And the paddle. The paddle. He did use it for his lodge. <laughs> hey, you think we should take it with us? But it looks so good there. Nah, let's leave it. Right. Hey, but let's head back to Animal Junction. Come on! I think the beaver's gonna be pretty cozy in his new lodge. How's that, Eagle? Did Zabu say beagle? He said eagle. 
It's a bald eagle. Bald eagles are one of the largest raptors in North America. And Martin, look what she built. What a home. It's huge. Hi, guys. We're bald eagles. You're right, Zob, you are. You bald eagles make the largest nests in the world. <laughs> and you need to. With a big baby like an eaglet, you need lots of space. She's a bald eagle, but she isn't really bald. That's right. She's only called bald because her head is white. Yeah, like my head. And I'm not bald either. Yeah, but here's a creature who really is bald. Naked mole rats. Their whole body's bald. Oh, well, bald is beautiful. <laughs> She's using her beak to put the twigs where she wants them. Hey, let's help her. Oh, no, 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 no. You gotta use your beak. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm. Mm. Whoops. I need a little practice with my beak. I'm gonna put mine right here. I'll get more twigs. Look at these wings. Bald eagles have a seven-foot wingspan. And those wide wings help a bald eagle soar high in the sky. But eagles don't fly right away. An eaglet needs some practice. So when she's about 10 weeks old, she does a lot of wing flapping to strengthen her muscles. That gets her ready to fly. More twigs coming up. Oh, nice, Chris. <laughs> hey, can I have a twig? Oh, it's a rig step. Excellent. What? <laughs> right, Zob. <laughs> nice hoisting. <laughs> Some birds are amazing nest builders, but few are more amazing than the weaver. The weaver takes grass or whatever plants he can find and makes a basket nest for his babies. Now watch how he weaves that one piece of grass round and round like he's sewing. Check out these termites. They're building a humongous mound out of mud and termite spit. <laughs> hey, uh, you know what? You know what? I helped a friend make a home once in Inzabu land. <laughs> I was leap, leaping along. Leap, leap, <laughs> leap, 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 leap. Leap when I bumped into Noggin Drill. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I said, Hello, Noggin Drill. Ouch. Ooh. Noggin Drill said, Hello, Zabu. Have you seen a home that I can live in? Well, there's a hole. Maybe you could make that your home. Oh, oh. oh no, no, my home. My home. <laughs> well, this home is already taken, Zabu. Wiggy Waxwing lives here. Every home I find already has someone living in it. But then I had an idea. Oh. I said, you can make your oh. own home, Noggin Drill. Oh. Just use your head. Oh, okay. Whoa! How's your home, Noggin Drill? It's perfect. Thanks, Zabu. Come on in and see my new home. So I did. Ouch! Oh, sorry. The end. <laughs> That was great how you taught the noggin drill how to make a home. Yeah. Well, he especially needed one. Hmm? Hey, hey, wait, where are you going? Come back. Don't worry, Zog. Hmm? She'll be back. Eagles use the same nest year after year after year after year after year after year. For 15 years. And I liked 15 things best about today. What was your favorite part? I like when we found the beaver. <laughs> hey, there's the beaver. beaver! And the and beaver lodge! <laughs> and my extra favorite part of the day was eating corn with the beaver. <laughs> my favorite part was when we rode our bikes into the pond! You guys did that? Yeah. Tell me again. My favorite part was when we rode our bikes into the pond! Wow! You guys are silly. This animal is a friend of mine From the tip of his nose to his funny behind All the friends we met today Are special in their own way We've all got different names But we're really all the same Thanks!
Thanks for dropping by. We're glad you came. These animals are friends of mine. They jump and swim, crawl, hide, and climb. One more thing we have to say. Go make an animal friend today. Yeah! Hey, look, the beaver's back. Think he's been chewing on anything else? I don't know. But, uh, Chris, your shoelace is untied. Thanks, Ob. Whoa! Uh -oh. <laughs> he must have chewed on that chair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I guess the beaver's back for more wood. Well, now I have to get back to my trees. Okay, see you later, Saboomafoo. Bye, Chris. Bye, Martin. Bye, buddy. See you next time. Hey, we better get home, too. Oh, yeah, Ma's making spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. And you know how it is if you're late for dinner. See you next time. See you later, Beaver. Help yourself to whatever wood you can find. Hi, my name is Claudia, and these are my two pet goats, Prince and Bambi. They're both one month old. <laughs>